AlexCosperOnSackTV.com. I'm with Ron Cameron today, and we're going to talk about a magazine that was, uh, I guess, very popular for skateboarders in the Sacramento region, right? Sacramento, Torino. Heckler Magazine. So give us a little history on that. Well, it was Heckler Magazine, started by John Bachigalupi and Sonny Mayuba. Who were very into the music scene. John Batchgalupi has a recording studio called Enharmonic and used to deal with Cattle Club a lot. And Sonny was in a band called Fallacy and he was a snowboarder and skateboarder. And so they made this like, um, at first it was a free newsprint kind of magazine called Heckler to build up the uh, NorCal scene, Sacramento, Grass Valley. Reno, High Sierras. Then it got so popular that they actually took it to newsstand in about oh, probably 99, 98, something like that. And I always helped them with articles um, with skateboarders in Southern California that they didn't have access to. I would interview them, have friends photograph them, and I would lay out the article. So John would let me lay it out, which you kind of a privilege, you know. And uh, so much of a privilege that when they sold it in about 2001 to Sam Pola Digital Inc. downtown, um, John passed on the uh, layout duties to me. I became the art director of Heckler for a couple of years, trying to keep it going and stuff. And uh, it eventually wound down, I think around 2004, but it had a good 10-year run. So was it the first big skateboard magazine in the region? Well, there was Thrasher in San Francisco that started up in 81. And that is still to this day, I think, the biggest nation, uh, worldwide skateboard magazine. But Heckler had its own vibe because it mixed skateboarding, snowboarding, and music. So it was more of the whole, what people in Sacramento the and the scene. Sierras, it was more of a scene kind of thing. And it had a vibe and an attitude. and, and um, and it was underground, it was completely not sell-out, not pandering to anything. So whatever Sonny and John saw as uh, heartfelt, more passionate, they would get an article, which at most big publications would go, oh, we can't do this because of this reason or something. So it, um, it had a more of a homegrown feel to it the whole time, a more personal feel. Thank you very much, Ron Cameron.